Hello, thank you for coming today. It's a, it's a good turn up, so that's a really, really good response. Um, I'm Paul, Paul Dennis. I'm responsible for the comms and awareness around the project. Where do we start? Uh, before we go on to the Gate to Gate app, uh, Snap Send Solve. Um, that app is also available at the moment, which you can download from the Apple Store and Google Play. Uh, Tyson's been doing a lot of media recently uh, around the promotion of the, the SnapSend Solve app. Um, it, it's really important uh, as part of the rezoning project. Uh, the amenity vines uh, is a crucial part of it. Is that correct, Tim? In, uh, spotting the amenity vines. So uh, spread the word about SnapSend Solve. Uh, get as many people in the area to download the app as possible and uh, take, take those photos of uh, the non-decorative non -decorative or non-commercial vines. So I just wanted to reinforce that me message about the SnapSend Solve. Well, um, probably just to, to, to say that SnapSend Solve is as simple as a, um, a camera function app. Mm. If you see a mini vine at a restaurant, let's say, that's on the Mornington Peninsula, you've got the app downloaded on your phone. You simply, and it's as simple as this, take the photo of, open the app, take the photo of the vine, scroll down on a list, find exit, as the list you want to send it to, hit exit, done. And you've registered an amenity vine, veranda vine, whatever you want to call them, on the peninsula that they will then come to the. So it's really simple, easy mm. app to use. Uh, and what we did with the SnapSend Solve app, it's a very common app and it's used by many local councils around Victoria. A lot of big department um, uh, supermarkets and department stores, so they've lost their trolleys. Uh, or there's a, a, an overgrown sort of weed in the area for local government, people are allowed to take, a, people can take a photo of it and then that gets sent back to the ones that uh, can, can action it. Um, it is a very simple app, and, but it's very important for us to, to identify as many amenity vines as we can as part of this rezoning project. Uh, now, before I go on to the Phylloxera Gate to Gate app, um, I've left everyone a little show bag there uh, in it is a, just a booklet, like a how-to guide for buy, good farm, farm gate to farm gate uh, biosecurity. I encourage everyone to have a look at that. Also have uh, fact sheets. The fact sheets are taken from the, the guide. So if you want to keep the guide in the car or hand out fact sheets to anyone, that's your choice. Um, I've also got the fact sheets available in other languages. So if, if anyone would like that, um, let me know and I can get those, uh, get those, some copies to the MPVA and then we can distribute those if you contract staff. I think I've got Thai, Khmer, uh, a few other languages, uh, Vietnamese. So they're available as well, but I, I didn't put them in there today. Okay, the Gate to Gate app. Um, today we are officially, unofficially launching the app. So as Tim correctly said before, you're kind of my last step before we uh, publicly release the app. So, uh, like Tim said, if you find any bugs, if you have any questions that we haven't spotted, we're lucky enough to have Simon over there. Simon's the creator of the app for us. Um, I'm going to give everyone a couple of days. If you have any questions, if you find something in there that you think doesn't fulfil what you need, let us know, let the MPVA know, let uh, Tyson or Cheryl, they'll feed back to us and then we can quickly uh, update the app. We're planning to go live into the app stores uh, by the end of this week. Um, and then we'll kind of do the official, official launch, the public launch, so it'll be available to everyone. Um, we know that I've had contact from South Australia, they're keen to see the app, uh, the Yarra Valley and other areas around Victoria. So but you're my, you're my testing ground, so please use it. Okay, the app. So has everyone got the app? No. Who has and who hasn't, so we know where we're at? Haven't or have? Have, have. have. okay. Um, I think an email link was sent out from the MPVA last Friday. Uh, this is a phone app, so you need to open it on the phone. Don't download it from your PC. Um, it won't work, is that correct, Simon? Yeah, iPad. Yeah, iPad, yeah, iPad or smartphone, yeah. Um, 
uh, it, so how many have got it actually now so we know how many? Okay, all right. It's enough to do some demonstrations. Unfortunately, my technology failed me today. I was hoping to mirror what I've got on my phone up to here, but um, we may not be able to do that. For those who haven't got it, uh, after the, the front page, it gives you a menu. Um, and I won't walk amongst everyone because I'll get out of camera shot. Uh, simple menu. And I'm just going to swap my glasses, sorry. Age has caught up with me. So just on the menu, uh, about the app, uh, the Phylloxera zones. So, sorry for this. So that gives you a description of where the Phylloxera zones around Victoria. Go back to the menu. Uh, definitions of what a PIZ, PZ, PIZ tells you a little bit about Phylloxera and stop the spread, that good biosecurity, farm gate biosecurity. Everyone can, sorry about the um, small screen. Um, then we go into the different host phylloxera materials, uh, grapes, um, mark and unfiltered juice, vines, cuttings and table grapes, samples, germplasm and equipment. So I'll give you an example of equipment as well. Soil, contacts at the end. So they're kind of the major areas that will be problematic in your situation. So you visit a, a a nursery in Mombolk. So we know that's a, a PRZ and you want to buy some potted grapevines. So we go potted grapevines. We go back to our menu, potted grapevines. And we want to move from a PRZ and you're now a PZ for coming in. PRZ to PEZ, he says. Prohibited. That kind of gives you an idea of how it works. And that says pot of vines are prohibited from entering PZ from a PRZ. Do you want me to do that again? Was that? So we go back. So we're going from a PRZ into the Mornington, which is a PZ. PRZ to PZ. Prohibited, and that's kind of that's how simple it is. Um, we go to another one. We're moving a tractor from a vineyard in the Yarra, uh, Yarra Glen, so PIZ. So it's a tractor. Scroll down, go to equipment, and we're going to move from a PIZ to a PZ. PIZ to PZ. And there are the requirements, shows you the requirements for moving that equipment. And that's kind of what you see up there is what you see here. Stop me if you've got any questions. I'll go back. We're going to move a hand sprayer. So again, we'll go to equipment. And we're going to move from a PIZ. PZ. Again, that shows you what's required. So, setting up a contract to purchase wine grapes from the Warrigal region. Wine grapes. So, we go to the menu, wine grapes. And we're moving from a PRZ, PZ. Again, there's, certificate, there's the uh, requirements. it says that what you need to bring and that's it it's really that simple well, just a couple more so a harvester from the Gamby so we go back to equipment again the Gamby's a PIZ and we're moving into a PZ and again, that shows you the, what's required. All very simple. Only a couple of steps. You know exactly what you need to do to move, to move your equipment. 
and or host phylloxera materials. Um, just a couple more. Uh, supply grapes to the Mordialic area. So that's wine grapes. So we go to wine grapes. And so we're going to go PRZ to PRZ. I've got to remember which way we go sometimes. <laughs> So PZ, PRZ going out, so PRZ to PRZ. No requirements. Next scenario, uh, contract staff. So I've had a question, does the app answer that? No, the app does not answer that. But the booklets that I've provided in the, the, uh, the show bag does, which is all about just good farm gate biosecurity. So I urge everyone to download the app from the link that's now available. Um, if you can't, let us know if there's any reason that you're not. But as Simon said, it just could be security settings on your phone to allow it to go through. And, but hopefully by the end of the, this week or early next week, it'll be commercially available through the app stores. So as it's been explained to me, um, it's compliance. There are no excuses. It's the same as going over 0.05, speeding, and now biosecurity obligations that you have to fulfill. We believe the app is a great way for you to fulfill those obligations. So please download MPVA website, another website, the Victorian Viticultural Biosecurity website, the VVBC website, that's got great information. Um, my plan next year is to turn the VVBC's website into an information portal um, that will have everything to do about phylloxera, viticulture, viticulture biosecurity, uh, soil types, genotypes of the phylloxera, which ones interact with which, so that's coming for next year. Further development, the gate-to-gate -gate app. So there's some really good tools becoming available to help everyone here practice good biosecurity. And, and I've been doing a good deal of social research amongst wine growers around Victoria. Um, part of my job at, for um, AgVic is to get a better understanding of kind of the attitudes and behaviours of growers around Victoria towards phylloxera management, aka good biosecurity management. And my research around Victoria has shown three things of how phylloxera gets transported, gets um, transferred from one property to another. People, equipment and complacency, they are the three key factors. And I think hopefully the app it's one of those things that will help you overcome the complacency that's there in front of you. All the information you need to move phylloxera hose material there on the app. If it's not, let us know and it'll go on the app. Um, good farm, bake, uh, farm gate biosecurity, which is in the booklets, and dealing with people is a big part of that. That's what all my research shows. They're particularly people movement, uh, contractors, picking staff. That's the great Achilles heel. But so much information out there now available. It's kind of uh, almost no excuses. Um, we've made some really good uh, videos that are available on the AgVic uh, YouTube site. What is good practice with uh, on-farm biosecurity? We made the videos in the Yarrow Valley. Um, the great demonstrations about what you can do uh, to, imp to improve your biosecurity. Um, so they're freely available, yeah, they're up there now if you need to know any information.